Hey everyone, this is Mr. Wu here, and welcome to my guide on how I make RuneScape videos. I will run through how to get both of these and the settings that you need to correctly record RuneScape. To record actual uh, RuneScape footage, I use a program, a software called Fraps. Uh, here is the website, and that was linked before. The link will also be in the description below. In my opinion, Fraps is the best recording software. It does what it does best. Um, there are several other programs out there, um, like Camtasia and so on, but like I said before, this is my guide on how to do things. Now, how to get Fraps, obviously, on that website, you can download it, but it does cost money. Um, it's not very expensive, it is worth buying, but there are uh, several slightly less legal ways to get this. Um, I'm not going to leave links below for this because it always changes, but use torrenting websites and there are ways to get fraps for free. I'm sure you can figure it out, but uh, just search uh, torrent if you don't know what that is. But um, yeah. This next step is highly important. On RuneScape, go to your graphics options, go to custom, and then where it says display mode, click direct X. This enables Fraps to record RuneScape. On the other two display modes, it won't record it. Once you have downloaded Fraps, um, this when you click on it, this will open, this small window here. Uh, the first bar, as you can see, that says general on the top left, um, you can leave that, that's your, up to you, that's your own preferences. Yeah, none of that really matters, but the second tab here, which is the, it says 99 FPS. Uh, th on this tab, you want to use these settings. Um, what's most important to be honest, most of it you can leave how it is on default, but the bot on the bottom right there, you see the overlay corner. And I, I select hide overlay. It's because, for some strange reason, I found that sometimes RuneScape, if you hi don't hide the overlay and you have it in one of the corners, RuneScape will actually record it and show the numbers of the overlay. And you don't want that, obviously, on your recordings. Um, so yeah, always click hide overlay. Right, now onto the third tab that says movies. Uh, the folder which you save it in, uh, leave that as it's installed on default. And uh, most importantly, it says it's video capture hotkey. You can choose that what you want as well. I stick with F9, it is totally up to you. Um, on RuneScape F9 can work, um, but it does open up something on the chat, but you can quickly close it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, video capture settings, have it on uh, 30 FPS and full size. Also, when you go to the sound record, sound rec capture settings, sorry, obviously you want to record the sound, but which one you wish to record is up to you. I've got it on use Windows input. This records my microphone at exactly the same time as I'm recording so it is called live commentary basically. I'm playing at the same time as speaking and that is exactly what I'm recording. The other tab above it is to do with recording the sound of the actual game essentially. So if I selected detect best sound input uh, and then recorded with that it wouldn't record my voice but it would record the RuneScape in-game sounds, you know, the sound effects, the RuneScape music, things like that. So if you don't want to do live commentary, you can select Detect Best Sound Input. I'm afraid you can't do both, which is a little bit of a drawback, but why would you need both? Uh, apart from that, uh, just select the same settings there or on the bottom right, they don't particularly matter. Um, just leave them how they are, as you can see here. So finally, onto the last tab of Fraps, uh, to do with screenshots, which I don't use that much, but it's up to you. Um, the settings here don't matter because we're recording video obviously, but if you want to take screenshots, you set your hotkeys whatever you want, mine's just on uh, print screen, it makes sense. Uh, the image format, again that's up to you, uh, JPEG, whatever, is totally up to you, and the sound capture, uh, screen capture settings, sorry, but um, you can get it to keep recording, um, keep taking screenshots like every 5 seconds or whatever, it's up to you. But uh, this is not used much for recording video obviously. So now on to Sony Vegas. Obviously, once you have recorded your raw footage, you're going to want to edit it, uh, and then you're going to want to render it, obviously. Um, there are several editing programs out there, I'm sure you know loads, you know, Adobe makes some, um, there's loads to do with, you know, Mac and Apple, 
I don't obviously use any of those, I'm strictly Windows and PC, but um, there's several different editing softwares out there, you can use whatever you like, but uh, I use Sony Vegas, which in my, in my opinion is the best one. Um, in terms of versions, any version really, um, obviously a later one such as 10, 9 and 8 uh, will be good, but even older than that is fine as well, because what we're doing is very basic here, we're not editing huge amounts of complex um, software like you're making an actual movie this is just uh, some RuneScape capture stuff, a RuneScape capture video so with Sony Vegas there are again several places which you can go about getting this um, the website is obviously uh, one way of, tri of downloading a trial but uh, actually buying Sony Vegas itself is very expensive very very expensive that's why I recommend looking at perhaps other different softwares out there um, but like I said, I use Sony Vegas. There are different ways of getting it, like before, a bit less legal. Um, again, it's to do with using, you know, the right ways of getting around it and so on. I ain't going to go into detail on that because it's not what it's about. But uh, a little tip, go on YouTube, uh, search how to download Sony Vegas for free. There'll be several videos that will come up um, and there'll be several that are good, several that will work. Um, I've looked at these already. Uh, how to find which ones actually work, look in the comments below. Don't trust the person who's speaking in the video, but look in the comments below and people who have tried it will say whether it works or not. Um, if you get really stuck on this, uh, send me a PM or comment and I can do it that way, but I can't make a video on it directly. So, when you've recorded your uh, Runescape footage um, using Fraps or other recording softwares, and um, we're going to want to import it, so just go on File, Import, Media, and then locate your your recording. Um, in Fraps, it will be in the Fraps folder under another folder called Movies, uh, and that will have all your recordings that you've made. Um, the, the file format um, will work with Sony Vegas, so no need to worry about that. It will just import directly into um, uh, Sony Vegas, and then from there you can get editing. And then all you need to do is drag and drop your reset footage into the bars below, which will allow you to start editing. Now this next part is hugely important. Uh, once again, go on File and then go on Properties, and a Windows, not a Windows, sorry, uh, a little tab like this will appear. So it's very important you copy these settings directly. On the first tab, which will be Video, um, I have named the template YouTube High Quality. And then on the width, I've done 854, height 480, and I'm sure you can see the rest, but field order is none, uh, pixel aspect ratio, you can see that. Uh, essentially, just copy this directly. Um, I did have to do some experimenting when I was first making RuneScape videos, and this is what came out the best for me. Um, this will produce high quality videos, but it will reduce the time it takes to render videos, so it will be shorter and also you don't un have unnecessary HD quality in your video because um, on RuneScape it isn't HD you don't need to produce H HD formatted videos so once you've applied these just click apply and then OK now when you have made your video and you're happy with it you've done all the editing of it and um, or you don't even have to do any, ed any editing to it, it's up to you but once it's all done you're going to want to go to render as. Again, this is the last important stage. Um, this is where you choose the settings of it being rendered, basically. Uh, the file name, that's up to you. But save as type must be Windows Video or Windows Video V11. Uh, basically, that is the um, Windows Media video format. Um, it works very well with YouTube, and YouTube say that there's one of the formats that they prefer that you upload in. And um, I think it does. Uh, fine job in you know the quality um, the most important stage is the template which I'll go on to that just in a second but uh, to deal with the things at the bottom uh, make sure you have the, the same boxes ticked and unticked as in here um, it will prevent any problems from occurring any mistakes you might make while editing once you come to render it you might come to find that you've only rendered a section of it by accident and things like that so make sure you've copied these um, boxes exactly. Okay, so like I said before, now click on the custom tab and this uh, small window will appear. Uh, custom settings, Windows Media Video V11. Uh, name the template, uh, whatever you want. I've chosen YouTube 
HQ, high quality, just had before. Um, this is the second tab video that I'm on. Audio doesn't really matter, you can ignore the others. Video is the most important tab you need to go on. Um, the mode, CVR, uh, format, where's media video 9, uh, image size, custom, uh, the width and the height have to be the same as before, so just make sure 552 and 480. We'll copy these exactly because I know it works. Uh, frame rate 30, 30 frames per second or 29.9 um, 70. And pixel aspect ratio 1, seconds per key, frame 3, and video smoothness, smoothness I have at 90. Next, you just click OK and it will take you back to the previous. Um, previous screen. Right, so this is the last step. All you click now is save and your video will start rendering. Um, how long it takes to render depends on how long you've recorded and like I said before I try to minimize re rendering time by balancing quality with um, how long it takes but uh, I think this is a very very good setting. Um, I hope this all works for you guys. Um, this has been my guide on how to do it, how I personally make my RuneScape vlogs and videos. I um, hope you find it useful. If you have any questions, remember to comment. And uh, this video did take quite a while to make, so um, please uh, thumbs up, uh, favourite, whatever. And um, if you know any other people who need help like this, uh, share this video with them. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mr. Wu here, and this has been my guide on how to create RS videos.